to the Pioneer Library System. I'm Holly from the Newcastle Branch. In today's acrylic painting of this winter scene with a pine cone, I'm going to demonstrate how adding some highlights and shadows can really add some depth and texture to your pine cone. So go ahead and gather the following supplies. A foam plate, a tanning white, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, raw umber, sap green, yellow ochre, crimson. You'll need a large filbert brush, medium filbert brush, a medium round brush, and a small round brush. Palette knife for mixing, clean water, paper towels, toothbrush that you won't want to use again, and an 8 by 10 canvas Using our larger filbert brush, we'll just get that wet and we'll start by making the sky color. So just take your white and a smaller amount of blue. There'll be more white than blue till you get the desired color of your sky. We're going to use the raw umber and paint in all of the pine cone. I'm mixing the dark mix. It's a little of this ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna. Um, and I'm just going to put some of that on my branch. Adding just a little bit more, more blue to that mix just to darken it. And we've got the little shadow going under this branch. burnt sienna, some yellow ochre, that'll make a lighter brown. We'll just dab that in there. Let's lighten up our tan by adding a little bit more yellow and some white to that. Now you can see the ends triangle shape there. So now in the very ends of these that we just made, we're just going to make this little edge. Using the small round brush, we're going to use this sap green and then add a little bit of burnt sienna to it just to darken it. So we'll just make some nice loose sweeping motions. Take some green and add just a little bit of yellow ochre to it to lighten that green up. Just make some more strokes. I'm going to mix white with just a tiny bit of blue, just to give it a little bit of a blue cast to it. Just using the small round brush, and putting that on top of the branches. We're going to make a shadow. Take some of that crimson and some blue. Now we're just going to put that underneath the snow to make a little shadow. We'll add a little snow on top of these pine needles. I'm just going to take that white, put it on top of the pine cone, kind of like it landed on there. Now we're just going to touch the edges of the pine cone where the snow might have fallen and hit it. Mix some of that blue and crimson again. Just give it a little bit of shading. Now for the fun part, we're going to splatter some snowflakes on our picture. What I use is an old toothbrush, one that you won't use again. You want to get that toothbrush wet, dab off some of the water, and then we're just going to put it in the white paint. Take your thumb 
and just rake it across the bristles and just let that paint splatter onto your canvas. I hope you enjoyed painting your pine cone today. And if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting, check out this always available book on Hoopla with your library card. Thanks for joining the Pioneer Library System. Be sure to like and share below. Mm -hmm.